Back in 2018, we saw more than 91 near-miss hits of different asteroids of all sizes passing by our fragile blue planet. The scary notion of this number is that out of the 91 asteroids that passed us by, only 30 of these asteroids were seen coming prior to their passing, and only two of those were discovered one year ahead of the near-miss event. This means that for more than 89 of the asteroids nearly striking the Earth in 2018, only two of them could have been prevented with our current technology, showcasing just how fragile and dangerous these large celestial bodies can be. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be going over different asteroids of which are expected to have a close approach to our planet in 2019. Twenty nineteen EN asteroid near miss. First observed on the tenth of January in twenty nineteen is that of the asteroid known as twenty nineteen EN. According to researchers, they have discovered that the asteroid will quickly pass by our planet on the twenty seventh of March, with a measurement of detection more than two months in advance. The reason for this detection was mostly due to the asteroid's large size, as scientists have predicted it to have an estimated diameter of more than 350 meters in length at its longest point, and 150 meters in length at its shortest point. This makes the asteroid dangerously large in size that could perform a large amount of damage if it struck the Earth. According to quick estimated calculations, a collision of this size could generate more than 3,300 megatons worth of TNT, a number that's roughly equivalent to 60% of the world's nuclear weapons detonated within a radius that would create a crater roughly twice the width of Manhattan and as deep as the Empire State Building. Luckily for us, it should pass us by without further notice on the 27th of March. The Lyrids Meteor Cluster of April From April 16th to that of April 28th, 2019, we will see a medium-sized meteor shower known as the Lyrid Shower that will create a very noticeable number of meteors for a solid three nights at the peak of its maximum. According to astrophysicists, the peak maximum of the Lyrid Shower will occur on the morning of April 21st and will last until the night of April 22nd. Though many of these meteors will burn up and create brilliant fireballs in the sky, Several large asteroids, a part of this cluster, will quickly pass us by, a near miss that is overwhelmingly welcome for these asteroids. During this April cluster, we will see some of the largest asteroids passing our planet that could very well cause a near-ending catastrophe if they struck the Earth during this time. 2012 X0134 Asteroid Near Miss First observed back on the 13th of December in 2012, the asteroid known as 2012 X0134 will quickly pass us by on the 18th of April of this year, but will more than be expected to make a return trip in the coming years that could see it colliding with our planet with ease. Fortunately for us, the size of the asteroid is only roughly 90 meters in length at its longest point, and when calculating the velocity and angle of entry, Along with the general makeup of the rock, the asteroid should more than safely break up in the atmosphere before getting anywhere close to the ground, at more than 40,000 feet in the air. Despite this good news, NASA appears to be keeping a close eye on the asteroid as it has been catalogued more than 91 times since its first discovery back in 2012. 2008 HS3 Asteroid Near Miss Originally discovered back in 2008, on the 30th of April, the asteroid known as 2008 HS3 is an asteroid of alarming size and passing by at a distance of only 0.037 lunar distances from the Earth, meaning that it will be closer to our planet than the Moon is with less than 10,000 miles of distance separating us. The asteroid is still classified as a near-miss object, though the distance is still concerning. Given the velocity of the object and the size, 
more than 270 meters in diameter, it could prove to be incredibly dangerous if pushed into a collision course with our planet. It is no wonder then, since 2008, NASA has been keeping a close eye on the asteroid that only seems to get closer and closer to our planet every single year as it follows the Eta Aquarids meteor shower. The asteroid will pass us by on the 9th of May and, hopefully, won't be a threat to our planet for another century. The Eta Aquarids meteor shower of May a sight that will be seen all across the Northern Hemisphere is that of the Eta Aquarids meteor shower that will occur during the 19th of April and all the way to the 28th of May. During its peak from the morning of May 4th to the night of May 5th, there will be more than 30 fireballs visible per hour as the parent object 1P or Halley asteroid passes us by and its smaller neighbouring bodies burn up in the atmosphere. For those living in the Southern Hemisphere and won't be able to view the site, during July 12th to August 23rd, there will be another small cluster of meteors passing by known as the Southern Delta Aquarids that will be seen from the Southern Hemisphere. Fortunately enough, its large parent object known as the 96P Machholtz will pass us by without danger as its smaller neighboring asteroids break up in our atmosphere and produce one of the shortest meteor showers that will be seen this year. The Perseids Meteor Grouping of August Known as a periodic comet, with an orbital period of roughly 133 years, the comic Swift Tuttle will be passing us by with incredible proximity to our planet with a size that's more than 8 miles in radius. This comet is absolutely massive and, if on a collision course for Earth, could cause a massive amount of damage unprecedented by past strikes during human history. Luckily for us, this comet makes the near-miss list and won't be on a collision course for Earth for possibly hundreds of thousands of years. Until then, it will be the source of a wide number of meteor showers as its broken up pieces and neighbours fall into our planet and a great meteor grouping that will last from July 11th all the way to August 26th. The Orionids Meteor Shower of October Described as being a medium-strength meteor shower is that of the Orionids Meteor Cluster that will be visible through the month of October. The peak for these showers will last from the 21st of October to the 22nd of October and will feature a parent object known as 1P Haley, as it passes our planet at the velocity of 41 miles per second. Though this parent object will be far from our planet and in no way going to strike our planet for several millennia in the future, it will have numerous smaller bodies to make up the peak of the shower during the month of October. Those that have the necessary equipment to view the object can track its trajectory using online resources to help them map out ideal locations to view the comet that is reported as being more than 8 miles in diameter, making it one of the larger asteroids discussed in this video. The Leonids Meteor Cluster of November Seen during the month of November is that of the Leonids Meteor Grouping that will feature the parent object Temple Tuttle that will be travelling at an incredible speed of 44 miles per second. The meteor storm will be an incredible sight that won't occur again until the year 2031, so catching the sight in November will be the only time to enjoy these once-in-a-lifetime meteor showers. The peak of these showers will reset on the nights of November the 16th to November 17th, but might be obscured by the almost full moon at this time. The Geminids Meteor Shower of December It appears that towards the end of the year, we will be able to see a one-of-a-kind light show for December that will feature the Geminids Meteor Shower in that month with a strong shower predicted. The cluster will feature a parent object passing us by known as the 3200 Phaethon that is of minimal size and poses no real threat to our planet in the future. It has an orbital period of 1.4 years, so the next time a shower like this will be sighted will not be for another year and a half. Interestingly enough, 
the asteroid is known as being one of the closest asteroid objects to pass by our planet, and so is named Phaethon after the Greek myth involving the son of the god Helios, for the way the asteroid glows brightly passing our planet by. The peak for the shower will be on the 13th of December, all the way until the 15th of December, with sightings of fireball meteors continuing at a rate of 20 to 30 an hour. Taking a trip to the Appalachian Mountains and sitting underneath the starry night will yield the best results for this sighting, but be sure to dress warm given the winter month schedule. But what do you all think of these nine different instances of near-miss asteroids passing by our planet and sending a chill down our spine when it is nearly impossible to detect them ahead of time? Be sure to let us know in the comments down below and be sure to share your answers and questions about the video to help grow our community and share insightful comments about the nature of these topics. Hopefully, as we continue to grow our community, we will one day be able to solve these unexplainable mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.